Rob Vasquez, Robbie Vasquez, Capcom Bass Sports with none other than Pumi Nakuda. The champ is here. Boom, put, put on, boom. Yeah, Play you, music. Play the music for real. Listen, man, first of all, so proud of you. I saw the fight, man. Thank Amazing you. performance. Uh, yeah, you had that fight all around. Did you, I mean, I, I was like the, the first minute you dropped and then you, you, you know, you did your thing. Then you did the, what Nate Diaz said, you did some spinning shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, dude, oh, wait a minute now. So, but like the other opponents will probably say, you know, and he was tough. No, tough, tough, tough. He tough. He didn't give up. Great, you know, but I know like after a fight like that, you'd probably be like, yeah, Turbo, Turbo. That's a fitting name. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That's the whole point. <laughs> you said a hot here at Sarah Longo, and uh, look, one of your teammates that you're sparring with on the regular is Marab Davalashvili, guy who sets probably the craziest pace in the world, has the most takedowns in a UFC fight. Well, well, yeah, it's gonna help Turbo be Turbo too, you know. <laughs> that's what's up. That's that exactly. So, walk us through it, man. What's what's it been like? Since that time, and during the fight after now, what's up, man? Man, uh, I'll tell you what. It, being in the fight, I, I felt I felt great. It was the best I ever felt. Um, it was probably the. I didn't really feel as nervous as I did for other fights, but to be honest, man, I just felt I felt comfortable. You know, I know I know. Sometimes people say the nerves. You know, not having nerves is a bad thing. And don't get me wrong, the nerves are still there, but. Man, I'm telling you, this was the most comfortable I felt in a in a fight, and it's crazy. I, you know, this is a, a fire. This is a full round fight, and this is for a major belt on the regional circuit and a yeah. belt on UFC fight main event. You would think, you know, I should be nervous. I, look, man, we trained at the best gym in the world, amongst the best guys in the world. It's just another day in the office. Yeah, yeah, and that's 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 but I think that's what separates uh, champions. In that champion mindset, and you clearly have that. And even John Anik and Florian and uh, <laughs> the Ray Longo minute, you already know I'm, that. I'm, Man, I'm, yo, that yo, yo, he's the he's the smoothest. He he probably don't even know he's one of the smoothest dudes. And he goes on there, <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you, he says, if everyone worked as hard as you, we probably get the same result. And mm-hmm. that's not the only person I've heard say that. The other person, we asked him, we interviewed John, we said, who was the last person you saw leaving last night when you were leaving the gym? And he said, oh, Pumi. <laughs> I said, who said that? John. Man oh, I'm, man. Yeah. I like man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's, he's smooth. He's cool, man. But when several people say that, it usually... You know, it usually sticks and it means something. It has translated to obviously, you know, you're holding the belt. It ain't like, yeah, yeah. Yo, it looks good on you, man. Bling, bling, bling. Right. Got the New York bling. It's matching. It's matching. It's, it's matching, man. It's <laughs> matching. <laughs> but you look great, man. So, besides that, in the fight, uh, tell me, man. Uh, first of all, I gotta say something. Hey, Dana White. I mean, that's your boy, man. I, I mean. Come on, I my, my phone's not ringing. I, I got to hear a phone call soon or something, oh, right? Oh, you'll be hearing it soon because when you're that good, they can't deny it. And and, and the style, yeah. everything that you brought in there that I saw was so highly impressive that I was looking at the fight and saying, oh, shit, I'm, I, I'm not trying to put it. I was like, oh, mother, most, oh, oh, spell. When <laughs> you looked at as a person, they, they say, well, you got to look out for his grappling. But he's beating you up on the feet. Yeah, popping you faster than you, catching yep. you, overhands, all kinds of stuff. Now you, it's like yep. okay, you know, a person would have to really dig deep. But you, you, you have more than one way to win. Yep. That's what I'm saying. And you're great, like you know, how John say you're great at one thing, but you're like increasingly getting better. Thank you, That's thank right, you, man. And I saw <laughs> that. I was, I was amazed. I was, but I'm no, I wasn't amazed. I was, you know, I was like, uh, damn. And that boy's going, he's doing his thing, man. Like, I was like, yeah, I well, would say. But tell me, my, my man, Dana White, call him. But tell me what's up, man. What's up with you? At the end of the day, man, that, that's just hard work. That's just the hard work I put in. And, and um, you know, I, I take, honestly, I take real pride in my hard work at this point. I've been, 
I've been working, I've been slaving at this ever since I was 12 years old, you know, when I first walked into a kickboxing gym. And now, you know, I've just stepped up the the level of work that I'm doing and also the intelligence with that. You know, I don't just work work hard, I work smart. Smarter. That's right. And I work, you know, I work as a jiu-jitsu artist, I'll work as a wrestler, I'll work as a kickboxer. And then, you know, just being with the guys that I am, having a great team around me, I also work at mixing it all together. At the end of the day, man, I, you know, we knew that I was going to be skillfully be ready for this. And ever since November, ever since my, my last match in October, uh, October 30th against Ben Coyle, we started training for 25 minutes because that's what we wanted. So, you know, talk about my, my skills, how they improved. You know, my pace has improved. My technique has improved. My cardio has improved. And with that, my conditioning speed have all followed up. So at the end of the day, man, I, I'm just looking to be the hardest worker in the room and, you know, work under those lights. And um, at the end of the day, man, I, I think all my years of hard work is paying off. Like I said, I've been doing this 12 and 0. And right now I'm 3 and 0 as a, prof- or, uh, sorry, I was 12 years old, but right now I'm 3 and 0 as a professional artist. And I have the Cage Fury World Champion. I mean, yeah. who else three and oh, I, I can't point to a to a single person who was doing that at the level I am. So, you know, I think my hard work's paying off. Yeah, and I can't, uh, I can't either. I get too cocky. I'm not gonna get, you know, too, too confident. I know I have a lot more hard work to do. Okay. Yeah. But when you have people at the high level mentioning your name like that, it's it with so many other fighters out there that are good and some great. It's 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 not for no good reason. It's it's for something. And and you and you and you've shown that. But thank you. thank you. Let me ask you, what do you think about the 125 pound division in the UFC right now? And what could you bring there, my man? Look, What's man, that? I, I got and this is thanks to the guys in the division. They're very skilled. They're very fast. In my opinion, they are still the most technical, technically sound division in the world. Right. You mm-hmm. like you can to the 125 pound weight class in the UFC thinking you're just going to be a boxer or thinking you're just going to be a wrestler because you know somebody's going to bring a style opposite to yours and you're going to have to have an answer for it but I do think it is wide open you know I I, I think once you know Triple C Henry Cejudo left and, and Mighty Mouse left that was the upper echelon of the upper echelon right those you got one guy in Henry Cejudo who in my opinion is the greatest combat sport athlete in the world yeah won the medalist and yeah. won two chips there's no denying that. And then you got Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, who for all intents and purposes could be the greatest in the world of all yeah. time. So once those two guys left, you know, and they, you know, you had, you know, Dave Figueredo, a guy who uh, doesn't always play by the rules. He cheats. He'll grab on the cage or hit you below the belt. Yeah. That guy's champion right now, you know, and, and don't get me wrong. I know he hits hard and, you know, I know he brings his own talents to the table, but mm-hmm. that's the guy we're talking about we're talking about a guy who wasn't mentally tough enough to make 125 just a couple fights ago last year he was missing weight in championship title matches that to me says a lot mentally about the guy and um and that's our champion if that guy is the five pound champion i think that says a lot about the division um and i think it's wide open as far as what i could bring to the table i mean i, I think i showed on I, I showed a couple days ago on march 11th what i bring to the table three and old martial artist just went to the Cage Fury world champion and said, give me that belt. You know, I did that at three wins, just three professional fights. At the end of the day, man, I, I believe I have the skills to hang with anybody in the world. Anybody in the UFC in the top 15, even the champ, Davidson Figueredo, I honestly believe I can hang with any of those guys. And uh, when I get my opportunity, when I get that call, trust me, I will bring a whole new level of turbo, a whole new level of MMA to the table. That's that, that's And that's, that's what I expect because – Right now, with, with the belt, look like you're shining brighter than the lights, like you were in, uh, at fight time, man. And Come I on. see you bringing, I see you bringing something different and a balanced level. Like you said, like, you know, you 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 don't you have more than one way to win, and you show if you and you've shown that. Like they'll expect you to win with this and worry about this, but then now they got to worry about this and this. <laughs> so it's like, oh, you know, it's like, oh, I was just worrying about this. Don't just worry about that. That's why it's mixed, and that's why you've you've shown that. And I do believe that you would you. I could see you up there in the UFC really, really soon. Uh, you know, I know, like you said, you gotta you gotta work your way through. You know what I mean? That's sure, you, you, but sure. I think once they see you in there doing you, 
they're gonna they're gonna put try to push you up. But I mean, my, my whole thing is this, man. Like, I know I know I might have to keep doing the work, and I get it. I'm only three, you know. But um, at the end of the day, I'm just gonna keep working. I'm gonna keep grinding. But in my opinion, man, you know, I, I still think I should get that call. You know, yeah. I I don't see anyone else. You know, at 125, grappling the way I can grapple at the pace I can grapple at, and then also still strike and land spinning elbows in the third round. You know, <laughs> yeah. I don't see these guys hopping on the microphone and saying what I'm saying too. Look, man, at the end of the day, I can do it all in the ring, and I can do it all outside of the ring too. You of know, course. you can promote that fight. Trust me, I can promote. I'm that guy, and you need someone who's going to show up on fight night. I'm that guy for the two. So, uh, at the end of the day, I believe I'm ready. I'm ready for the UFC. And not only my UFC, I'm, I'm the guy that they want. I check all the boxes. Exactly. And I don't think, I, I, you know, I don't see you, I haven't known you to, you know, have a problem making weight because I think the, yeah. the, the, the mental focus is there. You know this is your job. You know that this is what you have to do. When a person's consistently missing weight or something, I don't know, uh, maybe they need to go to another weight class. Maybe. Or, maybe, or or maybe they might not be mentally strong. You know, that, they may not be mentally strong because, you know, and, and it's yeah. tough for, everybody, right? I don't care, I don't care how much you weigh. Mm -hmm. You know, it's tough for me too. But you know what? I'm always gonna make weight. Why? Because I'm a professional. At the yeah. end of the day, I fill in and I do my work. You know, in camp, and then when it when it comes to make weight, I make my weight. When it comes to fight night, I perform. And then when you put the mic in front of my hand, for real. Drop bombs there too. For real. So, yeah, yeah, I heard you. <laughs> you know, I keep it professional and yeah. um, do it all. Of course, but that's but that's what that's what being a a star is, and being a professional and being a champion is all about. You yeah. know. Oh, also, congrats to uh to Aljo because oh, I, yeah. I I saw y'all both with the with the bell. I was like bell and bell both blinging. I almost I'm, I almost went blind. I had to. <laughs> Uh -huh. Tell me that was the coolest picture you ever seen in your life. Come on. Yeah, I like that on the stairs and uh, and standing yeah. together and stuff. And and then all four guys with with the belts at the at the at at, at the gym too. And that's and that's not even all the belts that that the guys no. in our gym. No. We got Rob, who's also won a ring combat championship. If yeah. we're gonna count all the amateur championships we won, dude, Sarah Long goes nothing but blinging right now. Yeah, of course, of course. But that's that's yeah, there yeah, for for sure. For sure. But man, I look, I look so much, I look so, you know, I, I know once, you, once you get that call, because I know you're going to get it, you know, that the talent there, the type of fighting style you're going to bring, the type of matchups that I could see, how you match up with, uh, with, with certain individuals. One, one match, fans, man, you guys are lucky you get to watch it. Yo, <laughs> let me, yeah, let me tell you something. Who would you, who would you like to, like to fight going in there, just starting off? At uh, at that division in the UFC, 125 pound division. You know what, man? I would I would love to compete against either Tim Elliott or Kai Car France, and uh, it's not just because they fought recently, but man, I just think those are two exciting fighters. Yeah, Look at uh, Elliott; he brings you know fancy footwork to the table. He brings energy. grit and and a lot of energy, right? Almost mm -hmm. you know energy I bring to the table. And uh, it's no disrespect to the guys, right? Like I'm, I don't have anything against the guys I compete against, but man, I, I think it would be a great matchup and a uh, fun fight for the fans. And, and I'm the kind of guy, man, where sure. I, I, I love competing. This is what I love to do. So exactly. I want to the best guys in the world, right? So you have that guy who brings that to the table. Then you got Kai Car France. That guy's always in an exciting fight. Yeah, he, he is. Do. And he, he doesn't bring necessarily the work um tim elliott brings but he definitely brings almost the same level of excitement in his fights right you know somebody's getting dropped yeah you know crazy is gonna happen with kai car france steps yeah. in there yeah. i think oh talk about styles you know styles making matches i think a match between kai car france and i would be very entertaining for the fans it would be high pace high energy high action and somebody's getting finished and it ain't gonna mm. be me mm, nice nice i look forward to that oh. one I told you I dropped bombs on this microphone. Come on. <laughs> yeah, for real. And I saw your other interview after the the, the post fight. Yeah, you went I, in. <laughs> I was woo. like, oh. But, that, but that's what you're supposed to do. Punk came to the back and was like, yeah, I seen it. Fight the promo. And look, you had that guy who was in the WWE for years. I'm cutting great promos. I mean, who else? Who else is doing it like me? I, exactly. I definitely nobody. 
I'll tell you that. Yeah, I agree. But 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 you're supposed to do that. You earn that. Yep. You're in there. Yep. Look, you know. Look, that's, let me let me tell you yeah. something. I, I, I you know, as much as as much as, and I always give you know, coaches and trainers, you know. I'm a certified trainer myself. I could train somebody, work out, whatever. Doesn't matter. The result is that is th- that is what it, it's about. The results, and that's the yeah. result right there. You understand? Yep. So you know that they're doing a great job. You know you're doing a great job. But the student is absorbing everything and mixing it up at the right time, and that's that's. I mean, that's why that's like a sense of pride for them too. Yeah, they're looking yep. at that. They're saying, "Damn, man, this is because." You work with different people. Everyone doesn't have the same work ethic. Everyone doesn't have the same mindset or, or dream or drive. But yeah. I see that you do. And, man, I can't wait. I'm like, you know, that's that's why I put something on a post. I was like, Dana White, man. What's up, man? What's going on? Because <laughs> Dana White is smart. He, he, you can't be dumb and be, you know, he's very smart. And business savvy and whatnot. I know they're going to want to have you in there. Yeah. I have no doubt. There's no doubt in my mind, and especially with what I've been seeing, it's not like like a lopsided thing or you're seeing a guy who's like, eh, nah. Well, what I'm seeing is like, oof. Look, I'm- man, at the end of the day, I will always point to this. One, my work ethic. You know, I, I honestly do believe at this point I am one of the hardest workers in the entire world in athletics. You know, I work in every single day for 25 minutes straight at a pace, man, that I know a lot of people can't even keep for 50. Yeah. Right? So, so one, I, I will always point to that. I will always point to to my work ethic. And then, you know, just a result of my work ethic, I'm always going to point to my last performance. At 2-0, mm-hmm. I went into, against a guy with four more professional fights than me, 5-1, and one, who was experienced, who could have gotten his call to the UFC at any point. He was a flyweight champion. He won the fight in spectacular fashion, right, the fight before and got the title via knockout in the second. Mm-hmm. It's a shutout. I won every single round. I didn't get touched in my beautiful face, right? <laughs> didn't land a takedown on me. At the end of the day, man, I, it was it was a one-sided beatdown. There's no disrespect to Alberto. Nah, it was. Very, it was. Very durable. Was even talking trash in the in the fifth round when I had his back about, you know, not letting me sub him, you know? So I got to give him credit for that. But yeah. at the end of the day, you know, respectfully as a martial artist, I feel like I went in there and cleaned house. So if I'm doing that at 2-0, now I'm 3-0, just imagine what I'm going to do in a couple more weeks when I when I work hard. You know, imagine what I'm going to do in a month from now, two months from now, if I hit another training camp for a fight. You know, I'm, I'm constantly improving. I'm constantly working hard. And uh, look, my performance to speak for itself. Mm. So what did, what did today look like training? Man, it was a tough day, but I, it was great, man. We did uh, three rounds, three five-minute rounds of treadmill sprints. Uh, with intermittent shadow boxing in between, mm-hmm. um, which that ain't easy on the incline and on high speed. So we're uh, already pace for three rounds. I got you. Four was ground and pound on the bag, mm-hmm. hard five minutes straight. After that, good. We're doing stand up five minutes straight on the bag, emptying out the tank, trying to throw as many strikes as I possibly can on the bag at a high pace. I mean, that's twenty five minutes worth of full tilt mixed martial arts right there. Beautiful. Burn. Turning out the cardio on the treadmill, mm-hmm. hitting the ground in the bag, and going just off on the bag for five minutes straight. I mean, shoot, people can't go off on the bag for 30 seconds straight. So uh, so yeah. we definitely push hard. We push it very hard today. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, wow. So so well, how did how did you guys celebrate your uh, victory, man? How'd you celebrate it? I gotta be honest, I can't even really say I celebrated too much. Um, I know know some people, I went to Vegas and hung out with Aljo for a little bit. I guess that was my little like two day celebration. Yeah. Um, But other than that, man, I'm I'm back in the gym. I know I got more work to do. And if um, if I'm gonna be calling out all these, you know, UFC fighters out, if I'm gonna be talking the way I'm talking, I have to back it up. You know, I have to perform and I gotta step up my level. So uh, I didn't celebrate too much. I maybe ate a couple of the foods that I don't usually get to eat. Back to hard work and the yeah. grind. I'm ready for the next. All right. So, uh, what's your what's? I had asked you one time, and I I usually ask this question. Mm-hmm. When you guys go out and eat, <laughs> what is it? Pizza, lasagna, what is it? Uh, uh, uh oh. I, I, it, 
sometimes I'll get pizza. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I'll get a little Taco Bell. But I'm telling you, the number one Cinnabon. Cinnabon. I, I love me some Cinnabon, man. I can eat two <laughs> four in a sitting. It is. Uh, it's not good. I, I'm a little <laughs> upset, <laughs> as 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 you can say. But uh, welcome to the club. Okay, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, please. I have a problem. Don't put that in front of me. Um, that's my problem. Yeah. If I go to the mall, I'm, in, I'm getting the Cinnabon. I'm sorry. Like, that's mm -hmm. just the way. You know, especially when we walk past it, you smell that cinnamon hit your nostrils. Oh, man. Okay. So, oh, so, so, so no more Eddie's pizza, man. No more pizza for me, man. Okay. There's no <laughs> I love pizza. I love pizza. And I had, trust me, I had a slice here and there, but, uh, yeah. It's not, it's not your thing like that. I got you. Yeah. Cause, uh, I know, I know, uh, I, I remember the garlic knots and stuff like that in that place in the pizza, Ooh. but, uh, but as far as, but as far as everything else, yeah, man, uh, proud of you. And, Thank uh, you. I'm, 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 I'm looking to, I'm looking forward to, uh, to, uh, seeing, seeing, seeing your next one coming up. Uh, to, uh I don't know exactly when, uh, they're going to call you, but, uh, but I look <laughs> forward to it. I look forward to it. The kids. Look, man, I'll tell you what, I, I would, if they even give me a shot, right, I, I know it might be, uh, you know, maybe too soon, right, because I'm only three, you know, to take a short notice fight, but I know they're doing the contender series this June, look, why not put me on the card, they don't even have to sign me, even though after they see the performance I put on, they will, I'm just saying, give me the opportunity, and I'll show you guys why it's turbo time. That's what's up, without further ado, vroom. Oh, yeah, it's turbo time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. I can't wait. And, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, we got to, we, like I said, man, we got to meet up for, 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 I don't know, maybe some Cinnabon. But I got to, I'm, I'm going to have to hit the treadmill like three days in a row before that. Yeah, maybe yeah, we'll yeah. Weight down like a good 12 pounds. We're, we're, we're a little bit, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, a little bit, you know. To, get the jump rope and do my thing. Then just be like, yo, where the Cinnabons at? Nah. <laughs> yo, bless That's up always, man. You look beautiful you. with the blink, brother. We love you, man. Proud of you, man. And like I said, you earned it. It's coming, man. Thank Stay you, up. brother. All right, champ. All right. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Wonderful. As always, it's always a blessing. Pumi Nakuda, the champ. The champ is here. And the champ will be, the champ is going to continue rising to the top as usual. And I, I can't say, I can't say uh, anything I don't like I'm at a loss for words, man. Just the pride, the pride, brother. All right. God bless you, man. Always, man. All right. Capcom Bass Sports. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>